Okay, question number two. Describe fully the transformation from A to C. Hopefully we can see that it is a rotation of 90 degrees um, clockwise. What we need to do is find out the rotation uh, point, the centre. So we, at this stage, bring in our piece of tracing paper, trace shape A, and then try and find out by holding a place on the paper where this uh, correct rotation point is. If I pick this point just there and try rotating the paper, the, the tracing paper, it's not, not rotating to the correct place. So after, uh, you can see I've tried five or six squares there myself. So I think it is this point just here, this point there. If you rotate it, I normally um, use a compass to hold it down. If you rotate it, up for about that point there it rotates nicely onto shape b which means that the center of rotation is the point minus two three so fully described it's a rotation 90 degrees clockwise about the point two three like i say uh stick your compass in and hold the point down on the piece of paper normally um part b uh translation vector two to the right and five down. So do that to each individual point. That point there will end up here. That point there will end up there. And that point underneath will end up at the bottom there. Draw the shape in and label it C. Part C is an enlargement scale factor of a half. So I've used the center of enlargement. I've drawn a line out through each individual corner on the original shape and you need to half the distance back to the um towards the center of enlargement so originally look this one was one two three four and one two now it's one two one okay so it halves the distance both um directly there but also the horizontal and vertical uh distances are halved as well so do that for each of the three corners and then you end up with shape D being the red shape just there. Okay.